Welcome back to Let's Play Might and Magic 7, episode 21. Syndrome here with Breaking the Stream Gaming. We are picking up immediately after where we left off last time. Um, we are here in the middle of Castle Gloving, and we are looking for a bundle of soul jars, which are used by liches, necromancers, in order to complete the transformation into liches. So our purpose in looking for them is to destroy them. The Dark Path characters get a similar quest, which is used in order for them to become liches, if they're sorcerers, or to become honorary liches, I suppose. Okay, we've cleared out a good number of enemies here. Um, let's do a little looting. No reason not to, you know, get experience where we can find it. I'm not going to chase down every enemy, but uh, I as well kill a few. Now, Castle Globing is negotiated by a series of boats. So we get in the boat and we click on the the steering thing. Is it a rudder? And that'll take us to the next area. I think there's a secret door in here somewhere, but maybe not. Now, let's see. I think that the soul jars are right next to Archibald's throne room, but uh, I don't recall exactly. So let's take a look and see what we can find. Go ahead and loot this chest here. Oh. Okay. Well, never mind. Um, this is weak. That was. This is weak. Kind of easier than I expected it to be. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that was our reason for coming here, so no need to linger. Uh, let's go ahead and telepower it back to Celeste. So before we go and turn in this quest, let's go ahead and head to the Temple of Light to pick up our half of the altarpiece. Ah, and we just missed it. Okay, well, we're just going to wait until tomorrow. Uh, we'll have to... Oh, this isn't even it. Let's see, this is Castle Lambent. Uh, it must be over by the spell vendors. Okay, here I believe this is the Temple of Light. Fish care, money can buy. Well, we'll go ahead and heal everybody up. We're gonna have to rebuff, but um, not necessarily for in here. We are not aggressive to the enemies here. Although I'm not actually sure how to get up. I figured that okay. I figured that one of these would be a secret. Let's go ahead and put up torch light so we can see better oh yes doing this quest as the dark path characters is quite annoying um, a lot of dispelling enemies in here so all we need to do is find our altar and then once we've done that we should just be able to get the Altarpiece and uh, proceed on. Oh, 
Oh, is this that quest? I think that there's actually a little puzzle that we need to do in order to access it. So I think we need to go to the second floor here. So there are three alcoves here, each with three symbols. Um, I think that it's as simple as one goes into each. I think that it's sun, moon, stars. Or maybe not. I feel like there has to be a scroll or something which gives us a hint to the puzzle here. Or maybe we just actually huh, have to click on that and it opens up. I think I got it. Okay, and here we have our altarpiece. Figures. This is weak. This is weak. Nothing worth dealing with back there. Okay, let's go ahead and just teleport back to the fountain in Celeste, and we'll head east to turn these quests in. And that should give us access to uh, Robert the Wise, who is the leader of the advisors to Gavin Magnus. Right, that is the altar quest, and then... This is the soldier quest. So now that we've done that, Robert the Bryce will give us an odd quest for the Path of Light. Um, it's an assassination quest. We need to break into the pit and kill Tolberti. Tolberti is his equivalent uh, for the advisors to Archibald. Um, as I think I might have mentioned in an earlier video, these are actually the player characters from an earlier game in the series. And the counterparts on the Path of Darkness are also characters from that game. So it's a little bit of interesting continuity if you've played the entire series through. So our goal here is to kill Tilberti and to steal his command cube. So I think that I'll put some buffs up first. generation has failed. This is actually a pretty nasty fight, even though it's just against one enemy. Um, Tolberti, I think, has the ability to eradicate people, so even though we do now have the Raise Dead spell on the Paladin, I might have forgotten to mention that, um, eradication, or eradication, nothing we can do about it. I'll still put up protection for magic, but it won't help against that. So now I'm just going to drink from this fountain here. Oh, I guess I already did. Okay, now we'll teleport back down into the pit. Run for our lives. You know what? Forget about that. I'm gonna fight. I'll stand in this corner and let them come to me, but uh, we should be able to manage. Overconfidence will definitely be my downfall, but maybe not today.
Okay, well that's uh, that's most of the enemies in the immediate area at least, so that wasn't too bad. Okay, that, uh, that could have gone better. So what I'm going to do here is I'll cast the Raise Dead spell. Syndrome is out of spell points, so I'm going to need to give him a potion. And then I'll take us back to Harmondale to get healed up. Let's get right back into things. Well, I don't mean to kill their peasants, but uh, I'm also not really that opposed to it. like the cleric is down, or kind of the, cleric, the paladin is down. Uh, let's go ahead and cast Share Health, actually. The knight's massive hit point pool should help to store things. Everybody else is green. Sorcerer is fully healed, so that's, that's nice. Yeah, nothing we need there, given that we are on the path of light. That was a Shrap Metal spell, which is the most damaging spell in the game, so kind of glad that missed. At least it is when it's cast from a point-blank range. Here we are at the quest site, so let's see how this goes. Hey, we gotta get you think it's safe? There's Tilberti off in the distance with his blaster. Uh, let's see, I think we might actually be able to just paralyze him, so let's see if that works. Nope. So let's just get in here and take him out. Okay. I was wrong. It wasn't bad at all. Now, he did drop a blaster, which I think allows us somehow to learn the ancient weapon skill. But we'll have to deal with that once we get a couple more blasters. It's not really worth using just one. Also, looking at this, it looks like he has some lootables up top there, but I'm not sure how to actually get to there. I'm assuming there's a secret door somewhere. Huh. Or just a side passage. Nothing so uh, cliche. Who would think that someone wouldn't use secret doors in their own house? Oh! Right, that... Uh, that's going to come in very handy. Um, I have an excellent use for that scroll, so I'm, I'm very happy that we got that. 
Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, um, having done that, we are going to head back to Celeste and turn this quest in. Okay, so now it's time to pick up the final quest of the game. So I will head back to Gavin Magnus's throne room where they will tell us what's actually been going on the entire game. And from there, we will, I think, end this episode and pick it up with episode 22. But let me just get to that real quick first. Okay, Resurrectra is giving us a quest to take out Xenofex, the leader of the Devils. Um, I take it back, this is not actually the final quest of the game. I think that there's one more after that. Um, but this is going to take us to the Land of Giants, the last zone of the game. So I will pick it up next time with the trip to there. Thanks for watching. <laughs>